That's wood. That's the. That's the. That's a wall. What do you think that means? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am back from Turkey, and I'm in the motorhome. Uh -huh. However good it was in Turkey, and it was good, it was lovely to be away, and I can't thank you all enough for your comments and all your well wishes and support from the video that I've done whilst I was out there. I really, 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 really appreciate that. And yeah, without you guys, it, none of this would be possible, none of it. So yeah, thank you very much for that. I am so happy to be back in the motorhome. home. Uh, you, you don't know how much you miss it, until you're away from it i just love it being back in my own bed on my own sofa you know all this and that it's just lovely it really is i know you guys want to see loads of uh things that have happened to them at home um, that video is coming um i've just got back in them at home it's a bit of a mess at the moment things are still getting put back together and all this and that so i'm going to save that video for probably next week um yeah but i will show you something you know you can drop it in the comments below this is just one thing that's happened and you can guess what it means. <laughs> so there's a cut. So obviously that's wood, that's the that's the that's a wall. Now, what do you think that means? What have I had done to the motorhome once you've seen that? Drop them in the comments below because I can't wait to see your what you think happened and what you think I've had done to the motorhome because that might give me some more ideas to do some more stuff to it, but that is a clue to some of the work that I've had done in the motorhome home whilst I've been away. I thought I'd quickly run through uh, and answer a few questions that I've had over the last month or so on the channel. And I wanted to talk to you about the poll I'd done whilst I was away about where I should go in a little bit of downtime I've got. Let's do a few questions first, shall we? First one, and these are just from various videos in the last month or so. Um, so if you do have any questions, then feel free to drop them in the comments below because I am trying to answer comments and then I'm also trying to grab a few maybe once a month and chuck them in a video so, you know, I can answer them there and then. Any possibility of doing another tech video uh, for living in a van? Yeah, now I've done a tech video a long time ago. I remember I was on a little camp, a little farmy campsite. That was a long time ago I'd done that video. I'm more than happy to redo that because my tech has changed, things, that, gadgets I use, tech products I use have been uh, have been updated and changed so I'm more than happy to do an updated video of that if there is any other videos that you want updating or you want to you know see if anything's changed then again feel free to just uh, shout out and uh, let me know what ones um, the next question yeah, this is a bit of a funny one I didn't know having just 44,000 subscribers was so lucrative that you can literally retire and jet set where does all your money come from? Now, now, first and foremost, I don't diminish this in any way, but you're not rich doing YouTube. You don't make a serious amount of money. Hence why I have sponsors like Surfshark in the video, like EcoFlow, um, like, you know, various other ones like Readly. Now, I use all those products and it works well that I then, you know, partner with them and they, they pay, me a mon uh, pay me some money to sponsor to sponsor the videos and promote their products which i use which some of you love some of you don't some of you are in, in, here nor there you know um i try and keep them as minimum as possible but um yeah youtube doesn't really pay you that much when you work out everything you do now i saved up for a long time i did have a lot of savings um so that's what i've been using really um i make enough to cover the team um, and I've not even actually started paying myself yet, to be fair. If I'm really honest, I haven't paid myself yet. Um, I pay the team, um, I pay things for the thing, uh, for the, the business to run. Um, yeah, and it's just slowly growing, but yeah, it's a lot of savings. Let's just say that. But to go with that question, and, and it goes along with the previous question about updating a video, I was thinking about redoing the money video. Everything's gone up. Would you guys like to see an updated 2024 money video is that something you guys would want to see if it is again drop it in the comments below and we'll uh i'll crack on with that and i'll get that done next question was what's the score with drinking alcohol in your motorhome now i've done a video on this um bottom line is don't do it <laughs> unless you're locked away from the public highway so if there's a gate blocking you from the public highway you're on a campsite and there's a barrier then you're fine um other than that 
it's just not worth it. Um, if they find the keys, then you are technically in charge of a vehicle. Um, and if you're drunk, then you're drunk and in charge of a vehicle. Um, it's a, like I say, it's a whole video. I've got a video which I'll put in the description below, so go watch that one. Um, but yeah, my my stance is uh, I love my license, and if I don't have my license, I can't go anywhere. So I don't drink, and I don't drink anyway. So yeah, Daz, where do you get the van cleaned outside? <laughs> now this is a a little confession. I have never washed this motorhome. <laughs> um, I am lucky enough that every time I go to Oak Tree, they quickly wash it for me. Um, the guys there are absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I really can't thank them enough because I used to wash my old motorhome and it took me forever. It really did. It, it, they're so big, you know, and unless you've got it down to an R and I can't do the roof because I'm not going to get on the roof and I ain't carrying, I'm not carrying ladders. But I've just left Oak Tree. So as you can imagine, it's gleaming. <laughs> I am very lucky with that. Um, I will get round to cleaning it myself at some point. I know that. I will have to do that. And uh, I might just film it just for evidence. <laughs> if you don't drink water you put in the tank, how about collecting rainwater? Now, I had this crazy idea on my previous motorhome that um, I was going to do that. Now, my idea was this was the back of the motorhome. This was the back corner of the motorhome, the wall. And I was going to have a little collection cup here at the back, at the top of the uh, roof, and then it, the tank was under the seats, if you remember, in the corner of the uh, sofa of the motorhome, and I was gonna get the water to come into the motorhome in a pipe, and straight down the corner of the wall and in, into the tank, and it was gonna go through a few filters, and I was just gonna use it for um, showering, toilet, and maybe boiling. Um, I didn't do that in the end because um, I didn't put enough research into it and I didn't really start wanting to cut in holes into the motorhome inside and running water into it because that's, you know, water is the death, can be the death of a motorhome. This motorhome, I've not even considered that. I've not thought about it one, one bit. I know it rains a lot over here and if you've got a massive surface area, you will collect a lot of water, but on the whole, it's not that often and that much that you would be able to rely on it, I don't think. Through winter, yeah, you would, of course. But no, and then you need to filter it, and then there's going to be, if it leaks, then you've got actual leaks inside and this that, and the other. So I've done a video about finding water. It's easy enough for me to find, so I'll just stick with that. I use bottled water. Uh, this is to go with my water video. Because uh, I said I use bottled water. Uh, I use bottled water, uh, but feel guilty about the plastic. Can you help with this? Now, do you know what? I've done a bit of research after um, that video because some of the comments were coming in and I was looking at them. And there's the Lifesaver Jerry Can. Now, that's quite a big old big old lump. Um, but then there's this, the Lifesaver do a, uh, Lifesaver's a company. They do this thing called the Cube. Now, I think it's about five litres, but you can put literally any water in that, river water, pond water, you know, you find it in a puddle, you, you get it in a creek, you get it in a spring, you get it anywhere. You can put that into this and then you just pump it up and then clean water comes out. And it does about 10,000 litres or something like that. Um, and then you just change the the, the filters. Um, and the good thing is the filters just stop working when they're done. So it's not like you've got to guess and you've got to think, oh, how many, how many litres are done? Now, five litres, the cube, it's about that big. I'm quite interested in that. So I'd like to know if any of you have used the uh, Lifesaver water systems. Now, there's a few of them, but I'm particularly looking at the cube because then I could keep that, you know, it's five litres, it's not too big. It's a nice size. It could go next to my ice machine. But then I could fill it up from any water source and then just fill up my five litre plastic water bottle from that, which is clean, which would cut my plastic down um, and ensure that it's safe drinking water because that's what it's built for. I try and recycle all my plastic that I, that I do use, but that is one thing I've been looking at. So I'd love to know if any of you have been using, because uh, the Berkeys are too big, you have to put them together and take them to bits and all, or have a ded de dedicated place to put them. Otherwise they're gonna fall over and you know the water can go everywhere. And I know that's gonna happen with me, I just know. So I'd much rather have 
something that is locked away, which I can fill it up with five, uh, five liters and just lock it until I need it. How have you been getting on with the Blink, uh, Blink video doorbells? They're my CC. They're my chosen CCTV camera. Um, I'll put a link to the video of me actually installing them and putting them on. Um, they're doing really well. I have noticed. I'm going to do an updated video because I have noticed on one of them. I think it's the one on the passenger side. Water has got it in, and you can see just like when you remove the batteries because they are battery operated. You can see like there's some rust on the components. So I'm I'm assuming it will die at some point um, because water has gotten in, but. It's getting on for, I mean, it's probably 10 months, maybe more now. Yeah, maybe more. So almost a year. And I mean, they were probably about 30, 35 quid each. I think I got them on a deal. And they're good. They are pretty good. They're, they're good for if you want to put, you can arm the whole system. The only thing you can't do is um, look at every single one at once. You have to go into one, then come out, and then go into another one, then go into another one, come out, and then go into another one. So that's a bit of a pain. Um, but being able to see stuff, um, and you can hear audio, you can pick up audio, people can press them, and then you can talk to people, you can see stuff. Um, yeah, I, 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 I love them for the ease of use. There was no drilling. It was just stuck on by VHB tape, which are still rock solid. They haven't moved a, moved a muscle. They're on lithium batteries 1.5 volt lithium rechargeable batteries which did cost me about 40 quid to be fair um but i just recharged them in the motorhome and then just change them out periodically um but if they haven't got wi-fi they are pretty useless they don't record they need to be connected to the wi-fi so if you do not have wi-fi or you've got spotty internet then yeah they're pretty pants next question which i get all the time uh, I suppose you can guess where do you empty your grey water and your toilet water this goes along with me finding water a lot of people asked where do I get rid of water now grey water I don't know what your thoughts and views are some people are going to love it some people are going to hate it but grey water I just get rid of uh, down the drain um, you know if I'm if it's if I'm overhanging a bush or something or some grass and it's not like a kid's playground for instance it's just a bush or a piece of grass then I'll empty it onto there. If there's a drain, I'll just empty it over the drain. Um, it's dishwater, it's shower water. It's no worse than someone washing the car on a Saturday morning on their driveway and all that running down the, down the street and into the drain. It's you know it's probably better because I don't use all the chemicals as as you know because <laughs> I don't wash my car. But yeah, uh, that's what I do with grey water, uh, with black water campsites. Uh, there are some that you could actually just pop into to just use their facilities for a couple of hours. Um, you can get friendly with you, uh, friends and public toilets. Again, I've done a video on this. Um, I'll link that in the description below. The one rule is if you're going to use something like a public toilet or somewhere like that, um, make sure you're using a chemical that can go down there. I recommend Sol Bio because that is all organic. That can go down any, any system. Um, and make sure you leave it better than it, you found it because there's nothing worse than going there and having a real leaving a mess i, I just can't i don't condone that in, to, in any way shape or form clean it clean it clean it clean it make sure it's, you leave it as as clean as you want to find it um and that's that's it really now i recently done a poll asking what i should do with a little bit of downtime i've got between talks i've got about three weeks ish few things have popped up uh either end so i've got about three weeks um but this is going to be a year's a whole a whole ongoing thing i asked where where do you want me to go where should i go what's your your, your thoughts a lot of you said between europe and a cheese tour the cheese tour just edged it if i looked across all the all the results um and i'm quite happy with that i'm quite up for a cheese tour so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to do a uk cheese tour and i'm going to make this into a bit of a series um i'm going to do try and do like three three weeks of it straight up um and get as much as i see as much as i can all in one period but then i'm going to do uh parts as as i can when i'm around the country throughout the rest of the year um so i need your help i need every single cheese place that you know um i don't just want the cheese aisle of morrison's i want um 
really amazing farms that have got you know the best cheese they make cheese on site i want cheese factories that do tours i want the places that make the stilton and any any places that you've been that have got fantastic cheese they make it they um they've got the biggest selection of cheese a cheese market a cheese restaurant cheese 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 anything cheese please drop it in the comments below or send me an email and i'm going to add it all to a list and work out a little route and then throughout the year i'm going to do all of them um because you know how much i love cheese we all love cheese don't we come on uh what is your favorite cheese below comment below what is your favorite cheese uh, um <laughs> mine has to be a really 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 strong cheddar i've actually got a a strength eight cheddar in the fridge at the moment which is oh, absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and a stilton i do love a stilton <laughs> but yes i really need your help all throughout the country the whole of the uk um i want to find all the cheese anything cheese related you know, I don't even know if there's a cheese museum. Maybe there's a cheese muse cheese museum somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, drop it in the comments below. We'll add it to the list, and then we'll uh, yeah, I'm gonna get there and uh, eat my own body weight of cheese, <laughs> which I can't wait for. Um, but that is today's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, if you've got any videos you want me to do, places recommended for cheese, anything else. Drop it in the comments below. Love you all loads, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.